Hi, I'm Lothar Top from STEM Imaging, and today I want to talk about why you should use Linesman cameras together with our modular embedded ecosystem. For this, I want to talk about the following topics. Um, where do we use Linesman cameras? Why do we use Linesman cameras? And why should we combine it with, with um, modular embedded? Um, I want to, to talk about the supported interfaces um, we have a short detour uh, over camera link especially. Um, I will give a short outlook and in the end there will be a summary and that's already all. So where do we use Linescan cameras? Basically um, we use it uh, for applications like sorting and handling, uh, in battery inspection, um, recycling, applications um, and of course uh, print control but as you can see there are many more applications where you can line some cameras and um, the reason for this is um, why we use line some cameras is that we can use and should use line some cameras everywhere where we have uh, fast moving material where we want to scan long objects where we have low space requirements and um, basically also uh, where we want to save some money because um, uh, Lansing cameras do have typically a better cost pixel ratio than uh, area scan camera in comparison. Um, but there are many more advantages of Lansing cameras. Um, for example, you have uh, no lens distortion in Y direction. Um, we have more trigger options. Uh, you can use multiple lights and uh, you have a very high full well. Um, and so on and so on. So um, what do we add with modular embedded? Um, we add a system with a small form factor, low energy demand and uh, still a high computing power. And uh, if we combine both systems, um, we can add even more advantages. Uh, you can use um, modular embedded to outsource your processing, parallelize it, um, like doing a pre-processing um, or stitching multiple line scan images together. Um, and you can use it to only forward the data you really need. Um, and you can use it uh, for or to convert interfaces, for example, uh, acquiring images from uh, one, two uh, or three line scan cameras and stitch them together and forward it as an or in a 10 gig E stream. If we talk about the interface we support, um, we, uh, regarding Linescan cameras, we support uh, Geeky Vision cameras, uh, 10 Geek E cameras, and with a little trick, we can also add uh, camera link cameras uh, or the camera link interface to modular embedded. Um, and if we talk about this, this is um, a very easy set. Uh, we have added um, an M2 interface to our modular embedded board to be more flexible. And for example, as we did now, we, uh, you can add a, a frame grabber with an M2 interface to the board and therefore use the M2 interface to um, support camera link cameras. And a good application for this is um, if we want to uh, convert a camera link interface into 10 gig interface, 10 gig E interface, and um, therefore can use longer cable lengths, use Geeky Vision, which is a little bit easier to use uh, the old camera link standard, and uh, have reduced cable costs um, by using shorter camera link cables. Now we have a short outlook. Um, what we can do in the future, or what we already can do, is uh, using NBSD cameras together with uh, modular embedded, like a 5 gig E camera or 10 gig E Linesman camera. And uh, if you think about it, um, 3D applications or 3D triangulation system is uh, not so much different than a Linesman camera. Uh, we could use, um, or we can use modular embedded to acquire from a 3D camera and do some pre-processing on the range map we get from the camera. Or we can use uh, a typical or normal area scan camera, acquire the image and uh, use the 
graphics card on our board to extract the uh, profiles from the camera or the height profile from the area scan image. To put it into a summary, or to put it, to put it into a nutshell, um, we can use line scan uh, together with module embedded because it is easy. It is not much more difficult than using a normal area scan camera on an embedded system. Uh, you can reduce data with it, save some space, um, and to have more flexibility by um, doing pre-processing -pre and so on, as I showed you before. Um, you can use the camera link camera um, on our board if you want to. And all in all, you can save some costs by reduce hardware usage and uh, at least for camera link shorter cables um, and going further with uh, Gigi cables. That's already all. Thank you very much. Um, if you do have interest in our board, uh, visit our webpage uh, stemma-imaging.com.